M0FXP, welcome to my videos on the Quantum SDR M3 model, 5 inch display this one. Very lightweight, it's made of plastic, oh just changed the frequency by accident. This video is to show you about the USB-C interface. So I knew it had USB-C, it's in the side here, let's just show you that. Get some of the torch on it and you can see the blue cable. USB-C. Okay, what is it? The writing says, let's have a quick look. Oh, <laughs> warranty, warranty void if you, uh, if you mess with it, basically. So USB-C, now I didn't realize, I, I knew that USB-C could, could be interfaced so you could get the audio, but I didn't realize it would actually power the unit. So look, I've got my little charger here. Now I don't recommend you do this when it's running, but watch this. This is a cheap battery bank, actually has a built-in torch and it charges via solar power, as you can see. And plug it in, and it comes on. Now if I plug the same cable into my PC, which I'll do now, it will also give you audio and a COM port number. But just the fact that I this has become more portable to me, because now I can power it, because we all carry it, well I do anyway, carry around spare power for our mobile phones. It's a USB-C connector, which modern phones now are all switching to USB-C. So I think this is a big plus of, uh, of getting the Quantum SDR. So now the thing I haven't quite worked out yet is can I get cat control for, for WSJTX FT8 on my PC? Because that's another big plus, because if I can, then all of a sudden, instead of spending 50 quid on an adapter, to enable me to use the G90, I can put that money towards the cost of this of this display of this, you know, this Quantum M3 model. So I'm going to unplug it now and put it straight into my PC. I'm a bit quick, but as soon as I did it, I'll just do it again. That's gone into my PC. As soon as I did, it's powered up. Look. Okay. Now let's just show you what you see on the actual computer. Oh, you get a nice little bag with these SDRs. But anyway, uh, I'll just show you what's on the computer. So we just go right click, device manager. I know it's a bit bright with the computer, but you'll see, I go to ports, COM27 has appeared. And if you look at my WSJT, I'm just in the middle of trying to get it to work now. Uh, click OK. But look, audio. There you are, Quantum SDR. So it's definitely picking up the audio. I've tried a few different rig types, but I can't get cat control at the moment. And I have got the IQ going into the, the radio. So the cat control cable is going from here on the front to the side so the cat control really is being used so as you can see i'm having great fun watch the rest of my videos on the quantum sdr mark 3 model 73